So I'm going to try and get some more of this done while everyone is asleep. So we have our front and back panels complete with a back slip pocket and a front zipper with the overlay. So we can set those off to the side for the moment. Now we will work on our zipper panel. So we need lining outside for the zipper panel at the moment, your main zipper. And that is it for right this minute. So what we're going to do is just take one side. I'm going to start with the big piece and lay it out. Now, I make sure that my zipper is a little bit longer than my panel piece just so it, I, I have enough room to work with. So, like this one was just an extra piece and it's 20 and a half inches. So we're going to lay this right sides together and since my pull from my front panel goes from right to left, I'm going to make sure that my pull from my main panel opens from the right, which it does. So, and then I'm just going to flip that over and we're going to clip this down. You can use tape for this, uh, some fabric glue. I'm just going to clip. And you can baste this on here, or you can go ahead and add your lining piece, which is what I'm going to do. going to sew this in at about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to do it this way. I like for my zipper to be on, the zipper teeth to be on top so I can really feel it. I move that zipper head out of the way. If you're using cotton, you can go ahead and iron this, but I'm using vinyl and waterproof canvas, so I'm not. So I'm just going to take it, <clears throat> hold my zipper straight, and pull the vinyl and the waterproof canvas away from the zipper. And top stitch at about an eighth of an inch. And again, I'm going to go a little bit slower because I'm using this contrasting thread. And this will definitely be seen because it's right at the top of the bag. There is a one side complete.
And now we will just do the same thing for the smaller side. Put your lining off to the side. Match up the right sides together and clip it down. There we go. And again, we're just going to stitch. Um, sew this down on about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. If you're using an industrial, but what I like to do is put one side of my foot along the teeth and use the other side as a guide for the edge. And then just use my finger to follow that zipper and make sure I'm not going over my teeth. Again, just going to pull the lining and the exterior away from the zipper and hold it as we top stitch. And you're going to try to keep this is a good time to get your zipper straight. And there is our zipper panel all com well not complete but mainly done so there we go so now we need our side panels which are going to be you should have two sets of squares left so your side panels are going to be the smaller set because the other ones are the pockets you're going to take one exterior and one liner. So take one side panel and line it up with the end of your zipper panel and clip it down. And flip it over and we're going to sew each side not all the way across you do not want to sew all the way across because we need to have this free so each side a half inch seam allowance and what you're going to do is when you get to here you're just going to lift your needle shimmy it around until you get to over here you can snip it and start again but i don't so and then just start over here and half inch seam allowance So again, 
flip up your lining. Fold the other side down. Fold everything in place and get that other vinyl. You're only sewing on the vinyl, on your exterior, whatever you're using. So it should look like this. See that big gap right there? And we're just going to snip that and then the front. There we go. So we're going to do the same thing to the lining. Right sides together. Flip it over, and you're only going to be sewing the lining piece. If you're using a bulky vinyl, this can get a little bit tricky trying to move this over and then get it to the other side. So just pull until you get to where you need it. You're going to be closing that hole up, so if you don't get it exactly on there, it's okay. So now what you're going to do is pull both pieces out, even them up, just like this. Now this is a good time if you want to add a connector right here or um, my connector a piece of vinyl right here. So a zipper pull which since this only has one zipper I might do that one second You only need it as wide as the zipper tape I don't stitch this down because be, because it's just a small area and it's going to be tucked in there nice and tight. So you can reach up underneath and grab it. Just like this. Make sure it's even, pull everything away. And now we're just going to be stitching from one seam to the next. Do not stitch all the way across. So I like to just go from one line to the next on here and that's it. If you stitch all the way across, you're defeating the purpose of not of the doing the bag this way. stitch about an eighth of an inch and give it a couple of times and that's good just like that I'm going to burn the edges on the top I burn the thread just give it a little bit of touch and there we go and that still leaves this free and closes up that hole and adds that so we're just going to do the same thing for the other side grab your two pieces now for this you want to make sure your zipper head is on the inside again you're only sewing your exterior.
like I didn't get close enough so I'm going to try that end again flatten it as much as I can there we go all your threads I'm just going to I'm just making sure that this one is the same size it is again stick that through I wanted this to be a double zipper pull, but I don't have, only had one of these pulls that matched the front, so. I'm just putting that over the zipper. Again, only from one seam to the next. About an eighth of an inch. And there we have it and then you can just grab this and pull just like that next we need the other square pieces that's going to be your side pockets so first thing we need to do is make the outside pocket itself so take one exterior exterior one lining right sides together and we are going to sew these down Clip it and sew down about a quarter of an inch. Now we're going to just flip these wrong sides together and we're going to top stitch an eighth of an inch. Pull out that seam. Now, to make these, I'm going to baste these together on the bottom, just about an eighth of an inch, just to hold it in place, because we have to now fold this to make the pocket.
So what I'm going to do is find the middle, the center, and make a little snip. Make the snip on the basting side, not your top stitching side. So it's good to have your zipper panel right here because we need to make sure that it, the bottom of your pocket lines up with the bottom of this. So you're gonna take one and here's your center snip. You're gonna hold that and push it to the back I'm sorry, to the front and fold it in about an inch and take the other side and do the same thing. Now what I like to do is I will clip it closed and make sure, just like this, make sure it matches my bottom panel. And that is a little bit too big so I'll let some out. Okay, and then once you do that, it matches just the bottom, and it's going to have a little curve to it, so you can straighten it up. And then once you're satisfied, you're going to base this down, which I'm going to give mine just a little bit more. There we go. We're going to base this down. And there's your pocket and it will go right there and do the same thing for the other side hold that middle that center snip push it out just like that let me make sure, nope, I'm not in the middle. So, push it forward if it's facing you. I can always do one, and then for some reason the second one, my brain like tends to forget. I don't know why, I mean that sounds dumb, but make sure that it fits and it does kind of lopsided so we are going to and again face this down There we have it, our two pocket pieces. So now what you're gonna do is take just the exterior and we're going to line up this bottom first. This is where you get a chance to straighten it up. And then I like to match up the sides. It's gonna. It's supposed to be big, so you're just gonna have to work it until you get it all lined up on the sides. we 
go. There's your pocket. And we're going to baste this around. So start at one corner and baste around. Without, make sure you pull your lining piece out of the way. And I just do about an eighth of an inch to a quarter because your seam allowance is a half. You can go back and make sure that you got it and see how I caught my lining right there. So all I'm going to do is snip that free. this piece to be free okay and then your hand can fit in your pocket and we're just going to do the same thing for the other side if it's easier you can always clip this lining back just like that and then it stays out of the way Again, make sure, and I did not catch that one side, so we just got to push that back in and sew down that side. Make sure I didn't catch the lining. We're just going to right back down this side. It shifted on me. As long as you stay outside of your half inch seam allowance. It is okay. You can do practically anything. Then stick your hand in there. Make sure you caught everything. And our... This part of the zipper panel is done. Now, what I'm going to do is take our lining pieces. This is another modification that I learned from another lady. And we are going to... Move that. Take your bottom piece, and now this is not, you cut it out, well, the way I do it, I cut it out with a square bottom, the size of the pattern, and then I cut it down to 10 and 3 quarters. 
which I think is just a little bit too big. So, so your bo your bottom panel should be ten and three quarters by five inches for both pieces. start with the exterior first. You're going to take one pocket, lay it over, squish it again. This is, because I'm used, if you're using vinyl, this is one, two, three pieces of vinyl and two pieces of, or one piece of lining. So be careful with whatever machine you are using. So we're just going to match the short ends together. We are going to sew this down a half inch seam allowance straight across without the lining. And then I'm going to take it and top stitch about an eighth of an inch along the bottom. And it should look like this. take it and add it to the other bottom so you end up with the circle. And a half inch seam allowance. This is tricky so you're going to have to pull this move this out of the way pull and top stitch through your machine so an eighth of an inch make sure everything's straight And snip those threads and pull it back through. So now you should be with this. Now we're going to do the same thing for the lining except we don't top stitch the lining pieces. Right sides together. inch seam allowance again I'm not top stitching that I'm just going to take my other end And 
and the lining is done. Now what I like to do, this is where I like to do my centers. So I'm going to match up my two pocket pieces and the bot uh, bottom panel and pull it and I'm going to snip this center. Same thing for the other side. Pull it straight. Same thing for the top. Be careful not to cut too far into your seam allowance. I do it after I put everything together because if somewhere along the line one of my seam allowances is off, I'll have the center of the bag itself and not the piece, if that makes sense. So this is being a little bit ornery, so there we go. Put it all in there. Match it up. I should have the same center piece as your bottom. I'm going to move that out of the way. There we go. Yeah, so if you were to cut your snips in your pieces before you added everything together and then you were off on your seam allowance anywhere, then your center pieces could be off. Your center marks could be off. So now, there we go. Now this pan, this, this is complete. So we're going to set that to the side. Next, we're going to work on our lining pieces. So you should have, and these should be the last of the pieces left. So you should have two, two main lining pieces your slip pocket and your zipper pocket. Let's 